What if I told you that 2025 could be the year Apple finally breaks every limit we thought existed for tablets? Because what's coming next isn't just an upgrade, it's a revolution. The M5 iPad Pro is shaping up to be Apple's boldest move in years. After months of rumors, leaks, and insider whispers, it's now almost certain. Apple is preparing to unveil the most powerful, most futuristic, and most intelligent iPad ever built. And this time, it's not just about performance. It's about redefining what the word pro actually means. This description is your full deep dive into everything we know, everything insiders have revealed, and everything Apple might be planning behind those closed Cupertino doors. From the all-new M5 chip to the OLED display that could rival the best TVs in the world, from wireless charging that turns your iPad into a power hub to the design changes that might silently change the future of all Apple products. This is the complete story of the M5 iPad Pro 2025. So grab a coffee, sit back, and let's walk through every insane detail that makes this device one of the most anticipated Apple releases in a decade. For years, Apple fans have been asking, when will the iPad Pro finally take its next big leap? We've seen powerful chips, yes. We've seen beautiful screens, but nothing truly transformational since the 2018 redesign. That's why the 2025 iPad Pro matters so much. According to multiple leaks, the M5 iPad Pro is expected to arrive this fall, most likely October 2025. Reliable sources like Mark Ehrman have reported that while Apple's next MacBook Pro might be delayed in early 2026, the iPad Pro is still right on schedule. Even OLED panel suppliers have started mass production already, a clear signal that the launch window is locked in. That timing alone should excite Apple fans. But the reason the community is buzzing isn't just because of when it's launching, it's because of what Apple is putting inside. At the heart of it all lies the M5 chip, a monster built on TSMC's latest 3 nanometer N3P process. If you don't speak chip engineer, here's what that means. Higher performance, cooler thermals, and drastically improved battery efficiency. Early benchmarks are already breaking expectations. Single-core performance could cross the 4,000-point barrier, while multi-core results hover around 15,600 points. That's faster than the M3 Pro MacBook from 2024. Yes, a tablet rivaling a MacBook Pro. GPU performance is rumored to reach 66,000 points, delivering console-level graphics inside a device thinner than a pencil. Imagine editing 8K ProRes video, running complex AI apps, or playing next-gen games with full ray tracing, all seamlessly, without a hint of lag. That's what the M5 chip brings. Apple isn't just pushing boundaries, it's shattering them. But power means nothing without a screen that can keep up. And that's where the next headline upgrade comes in. After years of anticipation, the iPad Pro is finally getting an OLED display. And not just any OLED, but tandem OLED technology. In traditional OLED panels, each pixel emits its own light. Tandem OLED doubles that with two emission layers stacked together. The result? Brighter whites, deeper blacks, and longer display life. Movies will look cinematic. Games will feel immersive. HDR content will shine like never before. Designers, digital artists, and filmmakers are about to experience true-to-life color accuracy that surpasses anything Apple has ever shipped in a tablet. And because OLED only lights the pixels you need, battery life will quietly stretch longer too. Think about it. The richest colors, the purest blacks, all in a screen thin enough to rest in your hands. This could be the best display ever placed inside an iPad. But the part that's making everyone lose their minds? Reverse wireless charging. For years, it's been rumored. For years, we've heard, maybe next time. And this time, it looks like it's finally happening. Leaks point to Apple redesigning the back of the iPad Pro with a small glass MagSafe window that allows wireless power transfer. In simple terms, place your iPhone, AirPods, or Apple Watch on the back of your iPad and it starts charging. No cables, no docks, just power flowing from one Apple device to another. It's more than a convenience. It's a signal that Apple is building a seamless, self-charging ecosystem. 
One device feeds another. Your iPad becomes your portable charging station, perfect for travelers, creators, or anyone who lives fully inside the Apple universe. And with the iPhone 17 Pro expected to feature an updated MagSafe layout, it all lines up perfectly. Apple is clearly synchronizing its hardware language, and the M5 iPad Pro might be the first major device to demonstrate it. Now, speaking of MagSafe, this redesign could also bring a subtle visual shift. Rumors suggest that Apple is realigning the logo placement so that it appears correct in landscape mode, since that's how most users operate their iPads with a Magic Keyboard. It's such a small detail, but also so Apple, refining aesthetics around how people naturally use their devices. This small rotation, combined with the glass MagSafe window, might hint at the broader future design of all Apple products. The iPad could once again be the testbed for Apple's next big design language. So why is Apple going this far with the M5 generation? Because performance upgrades alone no longer wow people. The M4 iPad Pro was already insanely powerful. Adding just another chip would make millions rush to upgrade. But pairing that chip with OLED, MagSafe, and reverse charging does. Apple understands something crucial. Innovation isn't about adding features. It's about combining them into something that feels new. The M5 iPad Pro could be that perfect storm, a fusion of raw power, visual beauty, and smart utility that once again defines what a Pro device should be. Now, let's talk about what won't be coming this year, because managing expectations is important too. Built-in 5G modems? Still delayed until M6. A completely new chassis? No, the dimensions will stay the same as the M4. New Magic Keyboard design? Not until 2026. That might sound disappointing to some, but Apple's focus this year isn't redesign for the sake of redesign. It's refinement with purpose. Every major change happens where it matters most. Inside. When you step back, the timeline tells a fascinating story. 2018 gave us Face ID and USB-C. 2021 brought the M1 and Mini LED panel. 2024 added the M4 chip and efficiency gains. Now, 2025 combines everything into one masterpiece. The M5 iPad Pro with OLED and reverse wireless charging. That's seven years of iterative evolution culminating in a single device that might finally deliver the iPad we've always imagined. Of course, competition is fierce. Samsung already offers OLED tablets. Huawei and Lenovo are experimenting with desktop-style interfaces. But Apple's strength is its ecosystem, hardware, software, and services working in perfect harmony. The M5 iPad Pro will likely launch with iPadOS 19 optimized for AI-driven multitasking and cross-device continuity. That means you could start a project on your Mac, pick it up on your iPad, and finish on your iPhone without ever thinking about file transfers or settings. This level of fluidity is where Apple still crushes the competition. The hardware improvements are the headline, but the software synergy is what locks people in. Now, the big question, should you upgrade? If you're using an iPad from 2018 or 2020, the answer is yes, absolutely. You're looking at a massive jump in speed, display quality, and battery life. The M5 iPad Pro isn't just a refresh. It's a complete reimagination of what the iPad can do. If you already own the M4 model, the decision depends on you. If you're a content creator, videographer, designer, or anyone who demands the absolute best Apple offers, then this upgrade makes sense. The OLED display alone could transform your workflow. But if you mostly browse the web, watch videos, and take notes, you might want to wait another generation. Even so, it's hard not to be tempted by the idea of a tablet that charges your phone, runs Mac class apps, and looks like something from the future. And that brings us to the bigger picture, what this means for Apple's direction. The M5 iPad Pro isn't just about power, it's about position. Apple is silently building a world where the lines between devices blur. iPads are becoming more like Macs. Macs are adopting features from iPads. The future isn't one device replacing another. It's all devices merging into a unified ecosystem that adapts to you. That's why features like reverse charging and OLED matter. 
They're not just specs. They're steps toward a bigger vision. A world where your iPad isn't just a tablet, but the center of your digital life. So what's my take? Honestly, the M5 iPad Pro 2025 could be the most balanced Apple device ever made. It combines the raw power of a Mac, the portability of a tablet, and the intelligence of AI into one sleek machine. The design refinements are smart, the features are meaningful, and the performance jump is genuinely impressive. Apple has clearly listened to its community. They didn't just make it faster, they made it smarter, more useful, and more connected. If these leaks hold true, this is the iPad that finally earns the Pro title without question. In the end, it's not just about specs or numbers. It's about feeling, that moment when you hold a device and realize it's capable of things you didn't think possible. That's what Apple is aiming for. And that's why the M5 iPad Pro could be the tablet of the decade. So what do you think? Are you excited for the M5 iPad Pro? Which feature blows your mind the most? The M5 chip, the OLED display, or the reverse charging system? Drop your thoughts in the comments. I read every single one. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into Apple's next-gen tech, don't forget to subscribe, share this video, and hit the bell icon so you never miss what's coming next. Because if the M5 iPad Pro is this impressive, just imagine what Apple is hiding for 2026.